everyone welcome to part 47 of laravel 10 series in which we are first creating the e-commerce admin panel so that we can make the e-commerce website so we will continue working on the products module and in this video we are going to show the, the product category as well as the parent category for the product okay so uh, so far we have shown the products in the end panel in the last video we able to show the products in the end panel you can see that we able to show the product name code color okay and uh, we also uh, make them active or inactive okay you can see that we can make them active or inactive instantly via ajax and also we able to add the delete functionality though add product and edit product is pending that we are going to start working on from next video uh, we can able to add and edit the product as well we are going to start working uh, working on this add edit functionality from the next video but in this video we want to show the uh, the parent category of the product see not only the parent uh, see we are going to show the immediate category of the product as well as the parent category we can say uh, like uh, the the category uh, the parent category uh, like uh, super category we can say the super category uh, okay uh, like we are showing in the categories if i will, will open the categories module then you can see here uh, that here we have the uh, these are the categories and these are the parent categories see clothing and electronics and appliances does not have any any parent uh, parent category you can see but uh, these men women and kids can, is having the parent category you can see the clothing is the parent parent category of these men women and kids and further like uh, we can further add the subcategories like t-shirts and women shirts under these men and women okay so this kind of scenario uh, we are working uh, uh, we are working with multi categories level we are doing okay so the same thing we are going to follow here as well okay so here we are going to show the category uh, the product uh, the immediate category of the product as well uh, and the parent category of that category as well okay so that thing we are going to do so let's start uh, first thing is we are going to add the relation between the product and the category so relation is very important here we are going to add the belongs to relation every product belongs to some category so we are going to add the belongs to relation between the product as well as the category okay so we are going to add this relation inside the category model model i am going to open sorry uh, inside the product model i am going to open the product model here okay so in product model i am going to add the relation here okay so here i'm going to add the relation public function category okay and here i'm going to add here the relation return dollar this belongs to relation i'm going to add belongs to okay so i'm going to add this relation and here i'm going to add the model i'm going to add the category model here okay so here i am going to uh, match it with the category id so i am going to add this category id here okay so uh, see i am going to update the uh, products function in products controller the last time that we have added okay uh, this one so i am going to attach this uh, this category uh, with this query category like this so i i am going to debug this one okay so we can debug with this one dd do and die okay products i'm going to check here let's see i'm going to refresh here and you can see only one product is added so far and it's having the category you can see this product is having the t-shirts category okay so you can see the t-shirts category but we also want the parent category of this t-shirts category okay okay so we uh, we are required to look out for the parent category as well okay uh, so we are going to add here you can see uh, the relation and in this relation we are going to add the parent category relation as well see i'm going to open the category model here okay in the, in the category model you can see we have the parent category relation as well so that relation we will add here to find the parent category if this category is having some parent category uh, so here we are going to add this parent category with okay in the same way like we used to attach the relation uh, with the function okay 
uh, we have attached the relation with the relation itself okay so now we are going to check so if it is having any parent category then it's going to show in this array so let's see i'm going to refresh and here you can see the category as well as the parent category here okay category as well as the parent category and parent category is the man you can check here the parent category is the man in this case okay suppose now if we will add any other uh, uh, any other product uh, from here i'm going to add one more product here from here uh, okay so uh, or i can do one thing i can uh, check out its cedar uh, that product table cedar i can run that once again product table cedar okay i can make it empty from here operation or i can ju just simply uh, remove from here as well okay i'm going to empty the table from here okay empty the table product table from here okay so now what i'm going to do i'm going to run php artisan db seed once again so that uh, we can able to add these two uh, products once again okay so 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 this is the benefit of the seeder okay we can add products anytime we want okay so here uh, we're going to add here a yeah, project where is the product 10 here it is product 10 services new terminated folder php artisan db seed okay so we have added let's see yes we have added okay so now you can see that both the products are under the category id 8 but now we want to add one of the product under some other category okay so that uh, we can come to know that if the category i'm going to put this one uh, under directly under four under man okay so i'm going to put directly under four this one means directly under main category this time so now you are going to check here like we have the two products right now one is under sub sub, sub category you can see one is under uh, t-shirts one is under t-shirt you can check it out that this one is under t-shirt you can see and t-shirt is having the main category man and one we have added directly under the main category man and you can see that we have added under the man and this parent category of man is the clothing okay so here you can check the parent category of man is clothing but here the parent category of t-shirts is uh, man okay so we will just find the two level up to two level of of the categories we are going to find means upper two level of the product one is the direct and one is the indirect means one is the direct parent and one is the parent of parent okay so that thing so now uh, this uh, in the products first one we are going to show the category and after that we're going to show its parent category okay uh, so i'm going to open the products blade file as well products.blade.php okay and we are uh, simply passing here a category okay fine uh, so here i'm going to add the two more columns here and here i'm going to add here the category as well as the parent category category and here I'm going to add the parent category. Okay. So here also I'm going to add two more TDs. Okay. So one is directly the parent category and sorry, directly the, the category of the product that will surely come. Okay. So category of the product it will surely come. So here I'm going to add the category here. So I'm going to pick from here. You can see here. Then I'm going to pick it here from here. Category. And category here. I'm going to pick the category name. Okay. Fine. And now this time. Uh, we are going to pick this parent category. Uh, this one. And this may come or may not come. And I'm going to pick this one here. I'm going to remove this one and here I'm going to add if is set means if it is there okay so here I'm going to add here product category and parent category see here we are going to add here the 
product category and then parent category <coughs> okay we are going to and here okay so here going to add this one like this okay so now see we are going to add it here we are going to check it here now i am going to remove this one uh, where it is here it is i am going to disable this one sorry now i am going to check see both category as well as the parent category is coming ok category of this blue t-shirt is t-shirt and parent category is men and in the case of red t-shirt its uh, parent its its category is men and its uh, its parent category is clothing we can also call it like uh, if you want to do see its your comfort level like if you want to make it like parent category parent parent category like this but there is it makes no sense like parent category okay like this one this this is the parent category of this product and this is the parent parent category so means uh, this is your understanding whatever you want to do you must understand this thing like this is the main category of the product means direct category of the products and this is the category of this uh, the main the parent category of this one okay like this so this is just the understanding that you need to understand the things that this is the category level that we have done in the earlier videos also i have explained you in the beginning of this series if you remember that when when we have started working on the categories uh, we have done that category levels and see here okay see category sub category sub sub category like clothing and appliances and under clothing men women and kids and under men t-shirts shirts and shorts like this so this is the category this is the parent category this is the parent parent category okay or we can say uh, this is the this is the category this is the sub category and this is the sub sub category so it is your understanding that you need to understand this concept okay uh, so now we are having the category of this product and the parent category of this product that is actually the uh, like we can say the father grandfather okay so this is that kind of thing okay so in the next video we will start working on the add product functionality and then edit and uh, and then we are going to complete this products module as well after that we will start working on the front end as well okay so uh, stay tuned for the next video that's all for now have a